Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Previously on part seven, return to Washington, Rob and Sherry take you on a Washington State ferry boat ride, and we visit the Squim John Wayne Marina, our favorite place. Hi guys, so we're at the Squim Game Farm. And so what's really cool about this, you can drive through and the animals will come up to your vehicles, and then some you're at a distance. So we just showed you some deer that uh, we can throw and so we also have two loaves of bread and so it'll be interesting we've done this years ago and it'll be interesting to see how this goes with cinder in the back especially when the buffalo show up so anyway enjoy we're going to show you some animals and probably hear some screaming <laughs> okay, here we go Don't dent my truck, please. Thank you. Bye now. That's cute. Oh my god. <laughs> second, baby. Oh, sorry. Being careful. Oh great, I got a whole herd of them. I am working on it. Here. Give him some bread. He's got like a million pieces right there. Oh my god. Hi, wave, wave. There's a peacock right there. Got right across the road. Hi guys. I'm actually filming the one way over there. trouble. Hi. Can you wave? Can you wave? Hi guys. It's like, I'm so sick of white bread. Oh my gosh. Careful. Under. This 
want something to eat. Do you accept her apology? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm being chased by a buffalo here. Uh, dude. Up, 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 up. Window up. Holy moly. These guys are kind of aggressive. Uh, you're even... Could they block you? Like, I'll block them. You guys get them at the windows. Come on, keep going, little girl. Look at this buffalo I got here. <laughs> Guys, I gotta keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna stop it. Enough. Little buggers, aren't you? She says, I know how to get something to eat. I get this little deer right here. There you go, guys. Look at these deer. You can't eat my camera. Hi, guys. you over my doolies. Oh my god, this, one more buffalo. No, no, no way. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've had all the fun at, <laughs> at the uh, game farm there. So now we have to drive down to Paul's Bow, Washington. And um, this is where we pick up our Penske truck, which is right here. And uh, this is a 16-footer. So we're going to drive this up to Port Townsend, take it across on the ferry, because we saved a lot of money by getting it this way. So I'm going to drive the, the truck, Sherry, uh, well, the rental truck. Sherry's going to take the regular truck. Then I'm going to follow her because she's got all the navigation stuff. And then tomorrow, we load this truck up, right here, a Penske truck. We're going to load that up from our storage unit, and voila! We don't have to pay storage fees anymore, but we got to drive this thing all the way to Arizona. 1,600 miles, so, yeah, wow. It's actually a fairly new truck. It's only got 13,000 miles on it. So, treated this well. The price was good. Uh, if anybody wants to know, it was under $600. So, yeah, <laughs> we're pretty happy. Well, anyway, off on the road we go. So, we had a little change of plans. We're actually on the Kingston Ferry. Uh, which is kind of a bummer because I got to drive through, through through some Everett traffic to get up to Anacortes. But it's the only thing that would fit the rig. So anyway, you can kind of see where we're at. And, but we didn't have to wait very long, so we'll be on the ferry. It costs $55 to go across with the track. But uh, anyway, we made it. We're getting there. Well, we made it across the ferry. And if you haven't noticed, I am driving a big truck. Anyway, this wouldn't be so bad, except we had to take a lower ferry, which is closer to Seattle, which means that we had to commute in Seattle traffic at 5 o'clock, not a good time. And so it's a little frustrating, but we couldn't get on the other ferry because we are too big and we couldn't get reservations till almost 8 in the evening. So I'm driving this crazy old truck here. Actually, it's a pretty nice truck. Um, actually, drives really nice. I'm surprised. So Sherry's following me, and so we're taking the truck to the storage place where we keep kept well, we, where we keep our, our fifth wheel, which is not in there right now because it's at the park. We're gonna put this in a spot. Then tomorrow morning we're coming back to the storage unit with our friend and uh, we're going to pick up this truck, go over to the other storage unit, unload it, or load this truck up, and then they will stay overnight there one more night. Next morning we get up really, really early and we hook up the fifth wheel and then we come over to the storage place, pick up this truck that will be all full, 
and then we head to Central Oregon and for oh, about an eight hour drive and then we uh, uh, get a day, a day to relax there because that's Sherry's folks and then we got some hardcore driving after that to start working our way back to Phoenix in two days if we can do it anyway so that's the scoop and here I am in a big yellow truck all right guys so we arrived in uh, Anacortes so this is our spot that we uh, usually keep our fifth wheel and now we're uh, just putting the rental in here for a day well two days tomorrow we load it sits overnight the following morning and get up early and leave so that's where it's parked and a uh, little 16 foot runs really good doesn't seem too in too intimidating so anyway see you tomorrow Hey, thanks for watching part eight of Return to Washington. Stay tuned for part nine where we load the truck and start heading to Central Oregon with the ultimate goal to get all of our goodies back to Arizona. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and watch some of our previous videos.